the midday office for June 17th. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to another. Before the mountains were brought forth, or the land and the earth were born, from age to age, you are God. Let me announce to the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son. This day have I begotten you. The morning reading is taken from Paul's epistle to the Romans, chapter 1, verses 3 through 7. This is the gospel concerning his son, who, in human terms, was born a descendant of David, and who, in terms of the Spirit and of holiness, was designated Son of God in power by resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom we have received grace in our apostolic mission of winning obedience of faith among all the nations for the honor of his name. You are among these, and by his call you belong to Jesus Christ. To you all grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me announce the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son. This day have I begotten you. The midday psalm is taken from Psalm chapter 40, verses 5 to 9. Great things are they that you have done, O Lord my God. How great your wonders and your plans for us. There is none who can be compared with you. Oh, that I could make them known and tell them, that they are more than I can count. In sacrifice and offering you take no pleasure. You have given me ears to hear you. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. And so I said, Behold, I come. In the volume of the book it is written concerning me. I'd love to do your will, O my God, for your law is deep within my heart. Let me announce the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son. This day have I begotten you. Let us bless the Lord, and all that is within me forget not his benefits. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, make me have perpetual love and reverence for your holy name, for you never fail to help and govern those whom you have set upon the sure foundation of your loving kindness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, you make me glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, my Lord. Give me this day such blessing through my worship of you, that the week to come may be spent in your favor. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.